Hi guys. This is a weird angle. <laughs> anyway, I just wanted to get on here and give you guys a little update. <laughs> Say hi. <laughs> My nephew is eating dinner and I'm watching him right now. Quick little update. I had an appointment this this morning. I had two appointments actually. Had my OB appointment and then right after I had my non-stress test. I'm actually see, going in for that appointment once a week now. And um, I'm 34 weeks and two days as of today. But um, at my NST, they noticed that my blood pressure was a little elevated. So what they did was um, the doctor requested some labs and the doctor on call requested some labs and a urine sample. So I have a history of protein in my urine and what's concerning about that is because um, it's one of the signs of preeclampsia. They don't think I have it right now, but the doctor believes that there's something brewing possibly. So what they want to do right now is have me come in for 24 hour observation and do a 24 hour urine collection sample while I'm there, which sucks because I did it earlier in my pregnancy and it was really annoying because you literally have to pee in this this thing this like jug for 24 hours every time you use the bathroom you have to use it or you have to pee in it and i've been using the bathroom like every hour now they want me to come in for observation and to also monitor my blood pressure like around the clock while i'm there and also um the doctor said that they want to administer beta methasone um which is gonna help mature the baby's lungs in the event that I have to deliver early right now the, the plan is to induce me at 38 weeks but she just is she's just doing a, a like a precautionary uh, thing you know just in case I have to deliver early the baby's lungs will be mature so that's why they're gonna administer that I think I'm gonna have to get two shots while I'm there so yeah that's that and also with the beta methadone that would possibly it kind of messes with your blood sugar which is which is gonna suck because i'm on like all these blood sugar like i'm like on insulin and all that stuff so it's gonna be harder to maintain but i am in the home stretch so yeah right now i'm just waiting for raf to get home from work and then we're gonna head to the hospital and stay there overnight probably until well, right now it's 5 p.m so i'm assuming we're gonna be there till dinner tomorrow too because it's gonna be a full 24 hours and who knows when they're gonna start the, the urine collection, you know? So I'm probably gonna be there till tomorrow night. <laughs> Which sucks, but it's okay. We're gonna do this. It's gonna be for the baby. And praying that everything goes okay. I'm just uh, I'm getting a little anxious. But you know, everything's gonna be fine. I just packed up some stuff, packed up like some things to keep me productive. Got my iPad, my laptop, I'm gonna do some editing, and then, um, what else? I mean, that should be enough for the day, right? <laughs> I told Raf to bring his laptop too, so he can be productive and, you know, have something to do, because we were there when I came in for my elevated blood pressure last week, and that was like, maybe five, six hours, and it was so, like, oh my gosh. <laughs> And then just to be there like for 24 hours now, like I wanted to be a little more prepared because last time we didn't really bring anything. So we were so bored out of our minds. But then again, it was like middle of the night. So we slept through most of it. Yeah, so once Raf gets home from work, we're gonna head over to L&D and yeah, we'll update you guys from there. So we're here in our room now, we're settled in did a lot of admission stuff it's now 8 25 and we got here around what six o'clock 6 30 closer yeah around 6 30 but it was a lot of admission stuff you know getting monitored really quick and then we got our food my food hospital food but um, raf is now free to get his own food he can leave the room now so policy has changed since the whole pandemic before he couldn't even walk, leave the room like step out of the room but now he can actually get like doordash and leave the premises and pick something up which is nice we just got settled in i'm about to eat dinner this is carb controlled so let's see what i'm having i am having 
chicken noodle soup. A strawberry sorbet, which is now soup. And my main entree is beef tri-tip with broccoli and half a serving of mash because I can't have a full serving. Yeah, so I'm gonna be here overnight, probably till tomorrow around the same time. Possibly if um, everything looks good, they can even discharge me earlier. Praying that everything just goes well, everything will go according to plan, and we can go home tomorrow and be in our house again, in our room, in our bed. But I have to say, I'm happy that we're in a bigger room to this time, because last week when I came in for my elevated blood pressure, we were in a really small triage room and it was not comfortable at all, but this feels so much better. The room is much bigger. Um, see, there's like walking space now and like shelves and plugs and you know, it's not hard for me to like get to the restroom or whereas in the other room I was like squeezing myself in different parts of the room. But anyway, yeah, so we're just here gonna chill. I bought my laptop an iPad so I'm gonna get some work done and yeah we're just gonna be here for 24 hours or less so this guy's back from finally deciding what to eat for dinner I went <laughs> and hunted for food this is a well done fry the guy that was working the fries he looks like he knows what he's doing so mm -hmm. mm, that sounds very like a nice and crunchy he knows what's up <laughs> So I was trying to be good. I ha I'm having this and that's it. My food was okay, but I didn't really finish like everything. I finished like most of it, but I'm still pretty hungry. So this protein burger is gonna tide me over. And yeah, I have a fry. Mm. Mm. It's nine o'clock now. Our nurse is super good. I love her. I'm going by so fast. Compared to last time, right? Yeah. Last time? Room is more comfortable. Yeah, I think that's why. So like we're, it, not, we're not like, oh, I feel so The room makes such a huge difference. Like, it feels just, like we're just chilling. My legs out. Mm -hmm. Rap actually has a bed this time. Automatically, I have a bed. Like, this one. Yes. He got his blankets already, his pillow. Yeah. The nurses so. are nicer. They're no, less. They were nice back then. No, they're, they're nice, but this is, they're nicer here now but Anyways. we were in the same place last time <laughs> i know but the nurses was different mm. i mean the nurses now are more um i guess what's that called what do you know attentive yeah you got it attentive i think because we're gonna be here longer um. <laughs> the other one was kind of just a triage room so there's a lot of people going in and out but we actually have like a set nurse and stuff but yeah mm. she's awesome i like her a lot yeah. i'm just gonna eat i brought my ipad so we can watch our Drama, okay, drama, and college friends. Hey, y'all. So, quick little update it is now 11 p.m., and we are settled in. Finished eating a couple hours ago, but it is now 11 11 20 to be exact. And I feel good. We are now, well, Raf is comfy out there. I'm just here. I think they're gonna do another monitoring non-stress test monitoring on me uh, Either now or early morning, but I'm just Gonna probably just lay down. I'm probably gonna call it a night. Yeah, we've just been chilling time has been going by pretty fast Which is nice. Yeah, I didn't do any work today probably tomorrow since we have like the full day But yeah, I'm just gonna chill. We're just gonna chill probably fall asleep a little earlier than usual, but we'll see Otherwise, everything's looking good so far, so yeah, I'll see you guys in the morning. Good morning. It is now the next morning. It's about 9 a.m. and just did a bunch of medications and monitoring this morning. And now I'm finally able to have breakfast. Um, I'm super hungry. They have me on a strict... Um, diet here so I can't order anything past my my um, nutrition goals so for breakfast I can only have 15 grams of carbs for lunch and dinner I think it's 45 I'm really hungry I'm gonna eat Raf is awake but he's just chilling right there 
and he's gonna have lunch I think wait for lunch time so far so good I got some sleep in didn't sleep straight because they did come in like around three or four to monitor I'll do another non-stress test but it's fine I feel okay right now probably gonna sneak in a nap later but for now I'm gonna have breakfast and breakfast today looks better than dinner last night <laughs> um so i have eggs bacon turkey sausage and some country potatoes hello so back with another update it is now 4 42 p.m to be exact my new nurse i guess there's a shift change she came in and did my vitals i'm now plugged into the nst monitor once again because they do it like once a shift and there's like three different shifts throughout the day so this is like my fourth or fifth nst i don't know I, I lost count to be honest they have to put this band on for 30 minutes and then i have to like just sit here for 30 minutes and it gets kind of uncomfortable uh, because I don't like being on my back. It's hard to breathe a little bit sometimes. But after 30 minutes is up, if the, if everything looks good and baby's heart rate is, is steady and he's accelerating, making movements, then they can take me off. And she did my vitals, my blood pressure, temperature, and all that. And my blood pressure is still kind of elevated. The top number is the one that's elevated this time, not the bottom number. Yeah, my systolic is like has been in the one mid 140s and low 150s and my diastolic has been in like the mid 80s so yeah i'm just yeah waiting we have about four hours left till i complete the 24 hour urine collection and then from then on she has to um submit it to labs and then we don't know how long it's going to take for them to process it so that's going to be you know something we'll be waiting for after around 8 p.m i'm probably gonna call for dinner soon and yeah didn't really do much today but time's going by okay it's already been almost 24 hours since we've been here do you guys hear the monitor it's a baby so this is a monitor for my contractions and there's a monitor down here for the baby's heart rate right here and that's what i do i just sit here for 30 minutes at a time try not to move too much and then over here is that machine it prints out like the data that they need and it runs for 30 minutes and then I noticed that every time I'm like in this position, the baby moves so much earlier, the baby was like jumping around. But he was not too long ago. So I pulled out the camera. I think he's camera shy. Yep, just sitting here watching house with no volume. This has been on. I've been, I was napping, so. Hello? <laughs> what? I said, how are you doing over there? I'm doing okay. Are you like a board? You're okay? I have YouTube. <laughs> oh, of course. So I'm just chilling. Good. Yeah, I'll see you guys again later. If there's any other updates, I'll probably update you after the whole uh, specimen collection is done and see where we are from there because there's a lot of options or a lot of ways to go about it once we get the, the labs complete and um, processed so um yeah we'll see so it is dinner time i'm having an early dinner tonight because i'm hungry didn't really do much so i'm just sitting here so i'm just getting hungry my food finally came i got all my meds that i needed to get before dinner and i like loaded up on protein today because I don't know when the next time I'm going to eat is. Um, and I do have snacks, but I want to save those for later. So this is going to be possibly my last meal here while I'm here during this day. So let's see what I got. This one's a heavy tray. Pretty heavy. This one is, let's see, mac and cheese, congee, crusted chicken with broccoli and carrots. 
and I got two hard-boiled eggs and bacon. I just wanted to load up on protein today. And then I got um, orange gelatin and diet uh, lemon lime soda. Still got about three hours left until my last we gotta watch your collection. <laughs> oh yeah, we're gonna watch an episode probably while we're eating, so. I'm gonna get my food and we can watch. Yeah, we have like three episodes left. I'm so sad, man. We actually finished this, this what, drama what pretty fast. Why drama make me feel this way? <laughs> I know. This drama is called My Idea is Gangnam Beauty. It was recommended by my sister-in-law, Hayata Jing, if you're watching. We're, we immediately watched this right after True Beauty because we like the, the lead guy, which is Chao Wu. I don't know if you guys care, but um, yeah, so we're watching. Mm -hmm. We're watching this and we're finishing it pretty fast. Probably a lot faster than True Beauty. Yeah, so we're just gonna have dinner and watch. Hey y'all, so <laughs> you guys can hear the monitor behind me. But I <sighs> wanted to do a quick little update. Um, oh my gosh, it's so loud. I'll wait, <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll be back. Okay, so we have some updates. Um, I just got out of the shower, obviously. So my results came back from my 24-hour urine collection. And, um, yeah, my numbers were significantly higher than the first time around. So that's why they're keeping me here another day. And they also started me on beta-methasone to help mature the baby's lungs. And that's two doses, 24 hours apart. So my first dose was at 10 p.m. And the next one is going to be, obviously, 10 p.m. tomorrow. It is like midnight right now, past midnight, like 12.30 probably in the morning. So we are staying here another day, possibly two, along with my, what's it called? Along with my, I'm going to mute this real quick. Along with my results of that specimen collection or whatever, uh, my blood pressure has also been gradually going up. So that's why um, they want to keep me longer. They want to monitor my blood pressure a lot closer within these next 24 hours and I think since they have to give me another shot in 24 hours they're gonna keep me and decide then what's next so basically if from my understanding it's if my blood pressure continues to stay high or even goes up higher they're gonna probably start talking about induction so since I'm 34 and a half weeks it's still con considered early early term full term is considered 37 weeks so if i were to give birth between now and 36 weeks the baby has to go to the NICU until um he's 37 weeks but if we can hold it out until like 37 weeks which is the best scenario or even late 36 weeks he can stay with me in the room or if he so happens to come out at 36 weeks he only needs to be in the NICU for like a couple days until he hits the 37 week mark and that's the time when he can stay with me but it's not looking like we're gonna reach the 38 week mark just with what's going on right now so he's possibly coming sooner I updated my family already everyone knows what's going on I actually had Raf leave to grab some stuff at home we just brought our hospital bag to be honest because it was already packed which was a good job on my part i was i thought i was packing too early but i guess it helped in this kind of situation so i finally got a shower in I haven't showered since i got here like yesterday evening so it feels really good to feel fresh and i got out of that hospital gown which was really uncomfortable and now i'm in my my clothes and they said i don't really have to wear the gown they just want access to my my name tag and yeah i guess if they really need me in a gown they'll let me know otherwise i can just wear whatever i want to wear and i'm just going to be comfortable so from here on out it's just going to be all monitoring i don't have to pee in a jug anymore so that's good <laughs> and write down my numbers and stuff so yeah we're just going to be here unfortunately sleeping on this hospital bed is not the best and you know Raf is not very comfortable on the sofa as well but we're just gonna make the best out of it let them do what they have to do and continue praying the baby looks good though every time they put him on the NST he's his he's moving around his heart rate is 
is up um, and where it needs to be. So it's really just me and my blood pressure. And since the protein in my urine is really high, they can't really do anything to treat that because uh, there's no like treatment for protein in the urine for pregnancy from my understanding. So that's not something they can intervene with. So right now it's gonna be just looking at the blood pressure. They, they're actually really happy because I'm not, I don't have any symptoms of preeclampsia. So I, you know, the usual like blurry vision, double vision, stomach pain, upper stomach pain. Um, what else is there that they keep repeating over and over again? Um, headaches, nausea. Uh, I have shortness of breath, but I feel like that's just part of the pregnancy. And also, well, because I have asthma, so everything's being pushed up right now. So I do get short of breath. But yeah, I'm, I'm really pretty much asymptomatic which is a good sign, but everything right now is really just depending on my blood blood pressures. So we have two options. We can either, um, if my blood pressures go down, they can send me home with a blood pressure med and a very frequent NSTs. I'm thinking like every other day or maybe even three times a week. Well, that is every other day. So instead of two times a week, they might make me come in an extra day. But you know, I mean, since I'm here already it, i mean i feel safer because we have our more peace of mind because there's always there's gonna be help right there instead of like being home going home with a, a good blood pressure and then all of a sudden it goes back up i guess you know i'm just trying to be optimistic my mom was very encouraging i talked to her and you know of course i cried because i was feeling really overwhelmed because you know i came here not expecting this and I, I was thinking we're just gonna go home and call it a day but you know things are progressing and you know it's a little overwhelming but you know i trust god will uh work in his own ways and i'm just gonna trust him and we're just gonna trust him and um continue praying so yeah for now i'm just gonna try to get some sleep i feel nice and fresh Hopefully I get better sleep tonight and then I'll update you guys if there's anything else that needs to be updated. Do you have any updates? <laughs> no, I went home. <laughs> he went home and showered. Lucky. I got some stuff. Yeah, so he has been doing all the errands, which I'm really grateful for. And I haven't gone to work. And he hasn't gone to work. Well, he got out of- Today was my <laughs> first day off. Are you in the frame? Yeah. Oh. Because uh, I'm here, and then again, I'm here again, and it's like 1 a.m. already. Yeah, so he's... I'm probably going to go to work next Monday. We'll see. I don't know. Yeah. So we'll see. <coughs> he's just been calling out, like, as the day progresses. Because we don't know what's going to happen tomorrow. We don't know what happened, what what was going to happen today. So he's been keeping his, his boss and, and manager in the loop. So, yeah. Well, we're just going to call it a day, call it a night tonight. I'll see you guys in the next update.